go straight to the center then. Can you discuss the role of film festivals and their impact on your career? I think they've been extremely instrumental in what my brother and I do. We premiered our first film at South by Southwest in 2009, coming from nowhere and really not having any idea how any of this shit worked. And we won the festival and it catapulted our careers. It's really interesting to be invited into and integrated into another film culture somewhere to, to meet people and have relationships and have these conversations and build an audience. You know, I mean, as an independent filmmaker, it's been massive to be able to travel around and build an audience, make friends, mm -hmm. learn new things. It's inspiring. Okay, next. What's your next project? Jesus Christ, I wish I knew. It's in my head, but I haven't, uh, I can't tell you. <laughs> I look forward to being able to tell you, but I'm not there yet. Can you pitch us your film? Oh, Jesus. What's my film like? A bunch of stoned kids headed to the coast in search of adventure. What is your favorite part of the filmmaking process? I think each has its own struggles and each has its own blessings, you know? Like right now I get to free think and eventually it'll be the other end of the process, which is making sure that dream's been articulated. And in the middle, I get to collaborate with people and be surprised and invent things. And it's all different. And for us and, and the way that we work in our process, every part of the process is alive. It's always exciting. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dish on any one of them. I like all of them. What film meeting person experience made you want to make film? When I was in uh, college, I went to watch a movie. I wasn't studying film, I was studying painting. And uh, there was this film about uh, train riders, hobos, tramps. This guy had spent nine years on the rails. Afterwards, I was smoking a cigarette with him and talking about his adventures. And uh, turned out he was an actual hobo and needed a place to stay. So he lived on my couch for a few months. Taught us all about filmmaking and got me my first film job. So that kind of did it for me. All right. What advice would you give to aspiring filmmakers, actors? Don't talk about it, be about it. It's the best advice I ever got. Why do we continue to make films today? I continue to make films because I love working with my brother and because I still have ideas that I need to process and things I don't understand. I like going through the process and being on the other side. It's nice to be with you here today. So th this one must be the joke then. It's the last one, so. <laughs> What do you find most challenging and rewarding about being a filmmaker? Most challenging and rewarding. It is fucking hard, all of it. Rewarding that what I do in collaboration with my brother and other people reaches people in other parts of the world and they'll have experiences that I may not ever know. And that's really awesome because I've been on the other side of that. Those experiences become a huge part of who I am. So I'd say, you know, and that and being flown to Luxembourg is not bad. So I'd say that's pretty cool. It's all hard though. Man, not for the faint of heart. Hey, I'm Turner Ross, director of Gasoline Rainbow here at the Luxembourg Film Festival. <laughs>